How cool was that? <laughs> yeah, just out for a little recovery ride today. Um, I don't know, 15 or 20 miles or something. Just got some music on, just chilling out. It's quite a nice day, actually. It's a um, little bit of blue sky around, patches of it, and it's um, become overcast. But um, it's really warm still, you know? Good day. Feeling pretty good. I reckon I could bash out another another big day, actually. So, um, I mean, the rec- I notice I'm recovering much better after being on this lifestyle as well. Feeling pretty good. I was going to say about um, a report in the newspaper today in the Sunday Mail. Um, obviously, it's not in front of me. I cannot remember the name of the reporter. But, you know, I don't know, that's besides the point. But, unfortunately, her, um, a mother was hit over by a cyclist in London. And uh, there was two sort of points she was making in the paper, really. You know, well, two things she st- said... One was like, uh, called, called the person a lycra out. You know, was it a person in lycra or not? You know, we don't know that. He's kind of um, putting every cyclist in a frame of, you know, a bad report again, really, isn't it? It's a bit like uh, people that hit over by uh, scooters or something and call them motorcyclists. Same thing. Just gives us, all, gives us all a bad name, fuels the fire a bit more. And she's also saying in there about they're more care, you know, more worried about their appearance than anything else. And I totally disagree on that because no matter what you do, you know, you want to look good. You want to look good, uh, whether you're holding a pint glass, whether you're going fishing, whatever you're doing, you know, just life, being around people. You want to look nice, whatever, you know. Some people don't give a shit about that, but again, that's their, that's up to them, isn't it? That's their business. So yeah, I was a bit surprised when I read that. I mean, with all the good cycling that's going on in the country lately, Bradley Wiggins doing well. And then uh, just everyone, really. And you get all the reports of the cycling. Everyone's just cycle. It's good for the environment. Like, um, you know, yada, 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 all that sort of stuff. And then you're going to get hundreds of thousands of people reading a report in the newspaper like that. And then it uh, just takes a big whack again, doesn't it? I know there's lots of messengers up around London and stuff. I'm not saying it was a messenger, but there's lots of people darting around on, on bikes which do it for a living. And they're good at what they do, you know. <sighs> Very good, you know. They're, 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 um just out doing their rushes, getting their jobs done, but maybe this was just a, a commuter cyclist that wasn't really looking where he was going, or it was, you know, it was a hit and run, so someone obviously doesn't really care about anything, you know. How can you hit someone and just carry on cycling, especially uh, anybody, really, but especially an elderly lady. But I know you've got to be so careful walking uh, in the city, you know, in, in and out of cars and stuff. Everyone's just uh, in such a rush, getting on, doing what they're doing, darting around. Just got to have your eyes, you know, not saying she won't look at what she was doing, but it's just unfortunate. Um, I was going to show everyone what I got, where I put my bottle battery on my bike the other night. I managed to, um, well, I obviously took it off now, but I was going to, it would have been sat underneath the um, down tube, like so, with another bottle cage and some tape and some rubber to stop it sliding around. So that's where I stuck it. It was just, t- well, about an inch from the, the front tyre. So it couldn't go anywhere with the zip ties. And the centre of gravity was quite low with the weight, so that done the job. I, I had to take my big battery because obviously I was going all night. There's no way I wanted to get caught out without a light. But yeah, it rode pretty good. Obviously it feels a lot lighter now because that loop-in battery is pretty darn heavy. But that's where it'd be going again if I do an all-night all ride, so I know that works out. Yeah, it's a cracking old day here today. Yeah, if you look in the... You've got the old reservoir all the way around there. Cheddar Reservoir. Right, centre of the screen now where that little dip is. That would be Cheddar Gorge. Where they used to make cheddar cheese and cheddar cheese straws. I do not think they make any cheese there now. I'm not sure. I don't know. There's a museum and stuff. Maybe they do do a little bit. I'm not sure. But it's not as um, vibrant as it used to be. And um, again, centre of the screen there. That would be... Uh, there's a big quarry on the hill you're looking like the Mendip Hills here and that pans round you know, lots of nice little climbs up there short sweet and then there's no way well you might do on a computer when I upload this later but in the middle of the screen there now it'd be like Glastonbury tour everybody's heard of um, like Glastonbury festival which I've never been to and only lived down the road anyway oh load of birds I've never actually been around here before. I've never cycled around. I went up to look at the skate park actually. They've got a nice little concrete skate park here now. A 
I know, there's loads of birds. Hitchcock's the birds, they're gonna attack me. I think the worst thing that's gonna happen, I'll get shit on or something. Anyway, that's the report. I'm feeling pretty good. Legs, legs are good. I usually give him a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a massage after a ride like that. But no, I don't know. I just didn't. I was just doing so many other things, you know. Just forgot, I guess. I've suppled up all right though. Really good. Eat your fruits and vegetables. <laughs>